Hi, I'm Ken with Demray V Solutions. I want to make, take a couple minutes to make a quick video to kind of explain how DMX works with lighting system. Uh, the DMX language is kind of compared to how HTTP is for network, how MIDI is for keyboards. It's the language that lighting uh, fixtures use to get their data to control them. Say if you have a real simple light that has like a red, green, blue, just a simple par, um, each element, the red, the green, the blue, would each have their own channel. Uh, so that would be a three channel fixture, for example. Uh, DMX is usually created, the language is created from some kind of a controller. We do a lot of installs with softwares because they're really powerful and really affordable, but there are standalone units too. Um, they range for, we did one, a little pocket one for 50 bucks a couple weeks ago to 50 or $60,000 for some real big boards. Um, so there's a couple of different ways you, you can output, like I see the computer, the controller. Once you cr create your DMX output, it's usually nice to do like a run from your, your front of house area down to like a stage area. And then at that point, put an actual DMX splitter, which is an actual, it's specifically designed to split the DMX si signal. The way the lights can hook up is you go in one light and you come out and go to the next light. So it's a daisy chain. They're all wired in series. Uh, kind of like how a lot, of, a lot of MIDI stuff is. Now, some of the wiring to talk about, um, a common problem we run into is we'll go to a church and they'll have uh, mic cables for DMX wiring. So you need to use specific cables for data. Uh, for example, an audio mic cord is not meant for data. It's meant for an audio wave to go back and forth in it, uh, where an actual DMX cable is meant for data. So for example, a good way to check that is a lot of the DMX cables, they'll either say DMX on them, Sometimes they'll say 110 ohms, and sometimes they say AES digital, which is actually the AES digital in like a studio application. But there is a huge difference, so you, you want to make sure you use the right cables. Typically, a lot of the calls we get where people are having problems with their lighting systems, it's almost always uh, a problem with their, their wiring. They have the wrong stuff. They usually have mic cables, and it's very easy to grab the wrong one because they literally look the exact same. You just kind of have to look at the actual printing on the cable a little closer to, to make a difference. Another thing to talk about is uh, sometimes a solution to fix a problem. Say you have uh, a really long run, and like I said, you start your lighting controller first, and then you usually do your long run to a DMX splitter, and somewhere on stage or in a rack, somewhere up, up back. But once you get to the, you jump to, from light to light, say you run like a couple hundred feet, and you feel like some of the, the movers or LEDs kind of have some noise, some chatter, maybe you went by some weird stuff, you can buy what's called a DMX Terminator, which is like a, it looks like a little XLR, male XLR plug, and you put that at the end of the chain. So say you have your first light, you plug in like light one, light two, light three, say light 57 down the road, there's nothing plugged into the out port. What you could do is put a Terminator in there and kind of clean up that signal. If you're getting chatter, more importantly, make sure you have the right cable. That's, the Terminator is not going to fix that. But sometimes you do get chatter really, really long runs. Uh, most of our installs, we don't really ever need them. They just kind of wire them good from the, from the beginning, so it's not a problem. So this is a very simple light. This has just four channels, a red, a green, a blue, and a white at the end. So the way it works is your data would come in from your, like I said, you start your controller, goes down the line, ideally a DMX splitter, and then out of one of the outputs of that splitter, we would go into this light uh, with a DMX cable, a real DMX cable. And then we would come out of the output of that and go to the next light. So say if we had a row that had like maybe like 20 of these like pars, nicer than this little, little tiny thing. But just I want to show you something. We would come in, we would go into this one, then come out, jump to the next light, jump to the next light and down the road. So for example, if this is the first light in the system, we would give this the address of one. And like I said, this is a four channel light, red, green, blue, and white. So it would take channels one, two, three, four. So the second light in the chain, we would start at number five. It would, be, it would be labeled address number five because its address for the red would be five, the green would be uh, six, and then seven and eight. So remember, every fixture has a certain amount of channels. For example, if you had a, an intelligent light like a mover that moved around, the head shine, zoomed in and out, some of those can take, average they run about 16 channels, 14 channels, but I've seen some that take 50 or 60 channels. Some of the the washes we have, they have like pixel uh, uh, configuration, like 70 some channels pan the neck. So you have to think about that. When we put together a big light system, we sit down, we figure out these are the fixtures we have, put them in order, and then we, we map out exactly what address we have. So like I said, four channel light, red, green, blue, and white. So this would be, we'd start the first one of our chain over here, one, two, three, four, red, green, blue, and white. 
the next light, we would jump in and jump out of that into the input of the second light. We would start at an address five. So five, six, seven, eight, next one would be nine and so on and so on. So that's how you can easily send data to individual channels. So you had a whole row of lights and you want them all just to be the same channel. You could totally name this one channel one, channel one, channel one, channel one. The thing is that when you turned the value up to one, send it, it would add red. It would do that for all the lights across the board. We have had some systems, that's all they want. They just want a simple wash. They don't want a bunch of fancy individual control. That's totally fine.